Hey, 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 everybody, Michelle is here. Michelle is in the building. How about that? Hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am, I am. I am doing good like I know I should. Today, uh, I think it's Sunday. Let's see. Sunday, June the 9th, 2024, in the place to be is where I am. All right, all right, all right. I uh, just finished eating, of course. You know, that's my favorite pastime when nothing else is going on. Um, and uh, it's kind of noisy in here because I'm, I'm doing, you know, I like to keep the air clean in here because this is old building. And it's so important to keep the air clean. When I was out yesterday, Okay, I, I I I literally felt like I was in the oven, literally. Uh, I, I felt like I was basting, you know, baking in an oven. <laughs> and I'm thinking, wow, wow, wow. So that's why I want to make sure my air is uh, circulating and clean in here, you know, uh, because uh, I mean, I, otherwise, is uh, is inescapable what we're dealing with as far as our air quality. There is so much CO2 in the air. You know, the scientists are not going to tell us the truth behind all of that, because then that would have to because then they would have to reveal what they have not done about it. Okay, it's not fossil fuels causing all the the um, struggling with our air quality. It's the CO2 that's coming from the massive amount of human beings. Okay, and the methane coming from the massive amount of animals that we breed to to eat. Um, so this is just a lot of things going on in the background that possibly we will not be privy to knowing. And that's the whole idea. You know, we, we have these clown committees you know, attempting to get the truth out of people about what's really going on when they know these people that they're talking to are not going to disclose the truth. Chances are they all are working in cahoots with each other to hide the truth. That's more likely. That's more logical. Just pay attention. A lot of people, when I say a lot of people, a lot of people that are the powers that be or the powers that want to be are upset because certain solutions to certain situations are not happening rapidly enough. You know, the co the uh, the cocktails are not working, quote unquote. And I won't go into that. But at any rate, you know, I, I do what I can to just keep myself healthy. I'm not extreme about nothing. I mean, because it's illogical. We're all breathing in these higher levels of CO2, okay? And all the uh, pollution in the air, we're all breathing that in. But somebody's can, you know, somebody's are susceptible to it, and some are not. So you just have to know yourself, and that's uh, that's if it, if not anything else, know what you can handle, and know how you can protect yourself. That's 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 quite simple, hopefully. So I know a lot of people are having a good time all over the world, all over their space. Hopefully it's a safe space. Celebrating themselves. I know it's uh, this is Pride Month. A lot of people uh, like to designate certain months of the year for when they can celebrate themselves. I say do it every day. You know, don't wait until a certain month. But, you know, that's between individuals, that's between groups of people. You know, or it could be an individual choice as, as to how you want to celebrate yourself and celebrate your situation. There are a lot of mild, mild stones in everybody's life. So no one has to know what you're celebrating it, per se. You know, if you set some, some type of goal for yourself, you know, just, uh, just be honest with yourself about the results. You know, if you're getting results, okay, be, 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 uh, praise that you know what i mean when i make these little minor uh victories in my life you know i know it i know when i when i make minor victories in my life 
and necessarily no one has to know because in most cases nobody's listening anyway <laughs> most people you know are so distracted and, and 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 so they want this quick instant gratification about things and you know I understand 100% what's going on well 99 well, let's say 95% I know what's going on right and um, I know that I am a so quote unquote lay person you know I'm, I don't call myself a scientist I don't call myself an engineer and nor do I plan on doing so okay because it's irrelevant what I label myself what I do know 100% is I am a human being and a developing human being and I can pick up on certain things and that's based on training that's based on trials and errors that's based on having breakthroughs in my life and uh, and truly genuinely accepting the reality of my situation okay I am not delusional and hallucinating okay and if I am I know that I'm delusion I, I know that I'm placing myself in that type of state I know when I'm being delusional and hallucinating but I do know how to gently bring myself back to reality and ground myself so there's a lot of things going on in our world that a lot of people just don't want to face and at, at some stage in your life you will have to you won't have a choice a lot of people are going to wake up to certain realities that they're not going to be able to escape from. Just trying to get this stand right. They're going to wake up to certain realities they're not going to be able to escape from. And then, you know, of course, the next and the first thing people do is they like to, to like to blame people, and then the secondly, um, they like to push the responsibility off on somebody else and say, well, you know, nobody told me this, nobody told me that. Well, you've been told you've been told a lot of things over the course of decades, millennia, centuries, you know, hundreds of years, two hundred of years, whatever, you know, whatever that 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 time that we like to focus in on a lot. And I've said this for a while. Uh, there's there's something about time, and I think at some point I'm, I'm just being real honest. Uh, since things happen, the major contributions to your life or lack thereof happens unconsciously. In other words, you don't know that certain things are happening because they're happening in the background. Just like a lot of people get delusional about aging. And they, they figure, okay, I, all I got to do is, you know, press this back, press that back, do this, you know, you know, do all this uh, manipulation to ourselves. And it's going to hide the fact that we're aging. Okay, you cannot hide the fact that you're aging. No matter how you're eating, how you're exercising, how you're doing this or that and the other, you're going to be aging. Um, and, and like I said, when I uh, looked at my uh, current driver's license, I was like, okay. I, I, I saw the difference in what I looked like 10 years ago on a driver's license I had 10 years ago in, in a driver's license now. And I like how I'm aging. You know, I accept how I'm aging. I don't attempt to hide too much. You know, my receding hairline, you know, uh, the graying in my hair, you know, is graying. Uh, the difference in how my eyes are. And that's where you notice it a lot more so is in the eyes. You know what I mean? And that's why a lot of people, I guess, want to try to put on makeup and, and put on what they call them concealers, you know, and then fill it in. You know, filling in, you know, I mean, hey, to each his own. Uh, but at some point, you're going to have to face the reality of aging and, 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 and accept it. I mean, you're not going to be able to stop your aging. No matter, like I said, no matter how much healthy, how many calories you count, how much healthy food you eat, how much you exercise, da, 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 da. You're going to age. And, is, and at some point, you, you're going to die, too. All right, under the best circumstances of eating, you're still going to die. And then when you think about it, on the big picture, once you get yourself grounded in reality and how I can help guide you there, you're going to be thankful that you are aging and you're going to be thankful that you do die. 
so that you can pass this baton of your essence of who you are on to the next personality. All right, if you can't accept some of the things I'm saying, just consider it storytelling. Okay, I'm in a different light right now, and I did that purposely so that you can see a certain color in my face, see a certain hue, H U E. And you know, because I want you to see what I look like when I wake up in the morning. How about that? <laughs> and anybody that gets intimately involved with me, uh, I want to know what you look like too when you wake up in the morning. That's what I, that's usually what I fall in love with anyway, you know. Um, so a lot of things are happening. I see, like I said, people are celebrating all over the world for certain, for, you know, based on whatever they, uh, find value in certain days of the week, certain months of the of the year. And a lot of people are, you know, somewhat celebrating the freedom of expression, which is important, individually especially, celebrating the importance of, uh, you know, their, what they have, self, have self-described themselves to be, <clears throat> you know, celebrating uh, their, 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 you know, who they want to love, uh, who they want to share their life with, you know, who they want to have a partnership with, who they want to have a relationship with, who they want to marry, you know, whatever, whatever that those titles provide for them. Uh, but it's very important, again, to always stick to the fact that you are nothing. And always remember that, even though you have all these other components to your life. You know, that, that personality that you've developed, you know, and how you're developing your consciousness. Always remember, you're, you're nothing. And that keeps you grounded. And it keeps you realistic, too. And stay, uh, stay, stay present, you know. Uh, stay aware. Stay concentrated on the, the, the realities of our situations, which are not good, okay. And um, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat that, you know, and I haven't been. If you listen to all the videos I put out, and my videos make will make us make sense over the course of time, and I told you time has a a variance over the course of time. My my sounds and tones are going to resonate with more and more people, just like anybody else that are putting out genuine uh, truth and knowledge, and and genuinely helping people. Sometimes you don't know the value of a teacher until. You've, uh, in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, you know, value of an elementary t school teacher, value of a, another form of a teacher, because we're all taught by somebody. We just don't come out of the womb with, uh, you know, all this knowledge. We have to develop it. Yes, we have a lot of knowledge stored in us from past generations, past ancestry, lineage, you know, but it has to be developed and it has to be activated. And your consciousness will allow you to experience that as long as you put in the work and put in the effort, okay? Your consciousness is there to guide you uh, and you cannot fool your consciousness to believe you can handle certain situations when you cannot actually do so. That's why you need experiences. You need life experiences, okay? And so, um, I, you know, it, it, I mean, I think, yes, yeah, since 2022, yes. Well, actually, since 2017, things have, I, I, I can see a rapid growth of situations in our life. You know, how we are rapidly approaching certain uh, realities in our life, okay? And I told you about the dawning of the age of Aquarius, February 3rd, 2029, and how that's going to impact people, I mean, to the utmost. And I'm just going to be very honest with you. If you do not challenge your beliefs, okay, and make your beliefs logical, rational, and reasonable, you are, you are essentially improperly thinking, okay? If you allow beliefs to lead your life without challenging your beliefs and make them, make them logical, Make them rational and reasonable. And what do I mean by that? When you have genuine knowledge, you have no need at all for beliefs. None. Okay, beliefs are 
you, you, unproven. So having beliefs is like a child, you know, in their fantasies and in their imagination, which is very powerful for children. And it's a powerful for adults as well, but it's more powerful for children to be allowed to be in their imagination, be in their fantasies, and make believe and have fun, and it's a safe space to do so. For us growing up, we, you know, thankfully we, we grew up in a home where we had our own backyard. So all of us could go out there and just fantasize and have our imaginations going. But it's also important for the parent to also, you know, snap, snap their children out of their delusions. I mean, not delusions, but be affixed to their fantasies and imagination to keep them grounded. And they keep, you, know, you keep your child grounded by giving them some life experiences, okay? You know, with doing chores around the house, you know, experiencing, you know, some pain sometimes, some injuries sometimes. I injured myself so many times growing up. I mean, I have scars to prove it as others. So, we're in for a lot of things. And, and as I said about the the approaching of the dawning of the age of Aquarius. If you don't get to a certain point of knowledge, you are non-thinking. And what's happening to people that are non-thinking and basing their life on beliefs is they are uh, causing their brains to uh, become atrophied, you know, experiencing atrophy. Meaning, what's atrophy? Let's look it up. And again, nobody has to know what you're doing when you are attempting to understand your life and understand what it means to develop. And what, is, what we're doing is causing our own um, man-made, self-created dementia it says atrophy is a partial or complete wasting away of a part of the body, okay? And it says um, the causes of atrophy is uh, mutations, poor nutrition, poor circulation, loss of hormonal support, loss of nerve supply. And this is all, um, you know, you can find this on, on the um, Internet. You know, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, it says here muscle atrophy is the loss or thinning of your muscle tissue. Well, you can have brain atrophy as well. And I've told you your brain is just a piece of meat, per se, an organ, just like your heart and your kidneys and liver. All of that is needed. You need your brain. You need your heart. You need, you need your liver, kidneys, all of that to support you to live. Okay, there's many people that have, that have had their heart but have died because of what? Kidney failure, liver damage, okay? So, to, you know, so if your heart was, like I said, if your heart was so important, which it is, it is important, but it's not the, it's not the, um, the center of your life. If your heart was so important, your heart would have, should have protected you and allowed you to live without kidneys and without a liver, but that's not possible, right? And that's, I'm talking literally. So that's why you need to look at, and as you are self-educating yourself, you need to expand your knowledge gathering to have it literally, figuratively, metaphorically, and symbolically. And think along those terms. You know, throw in some atrophy. I mean, throw in some atrophy. <laughs> throw in some abstract and some subjective and objective arguments or discussions. Not arguments, but discussions and conversations with yourself. Like I said, no one has to know. That's the beauty of it all. When you're developing, evolving your consciousness, no one has to know, okay? But just do it. So what we've done is ca caused a, 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 like a brain atrophy when we're non-thinking. Brain atrophy, so eventually our, our brain cells are gonna die off, die off, and we're gonna experience this so-called quote-unquote man-made uh, dementia. Okay, it's, it's you know, it's where you know where you're wasting away. Or all of a sudden, you you have you know you have all these symptoms that people uh, attribute to dementia. 
I noticed that with particular uh, relatives growing up with the dementia part of it where where they were forgetful they was they, you know they, these people were young people but they were forgetting simple things forgetting where they did this and where they did that and I noticed that you know with the, with a few uh, family members who have since passed away it's like they their cognitive abilities were were you know kind of slipping away from them where they couldn't remember simple tasks you know uh, they couldn't remember uh, where they, like I said, where they placed their keys, you know, how they couldn't find their vehicles in the parking lot. Uh, you know, it's, it's just those certain type of things that start happening. Okay. So, so there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes in our lives. And the quicker you decide to be grounded in that and be accepting of that and be open to that, the, the, the better it will be for you when, when, when the shit hits the fan, as everybody says. The shit has been hitting the fan for decades. Okay? Decades. Uh, and now and, then we, and we're in the consequences of that shit hitting the fan. We're all being affected by it. You know, we're all breathing it in, eating it, you know, living in it, walking in it. We're all in the shit, you know, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. So... You know, we have a lot of people just going around attempting to get your attention, focus on other things. And, and you know, you're just going to have to develop yourself to know how to, to guard yourself against all of that. Uh, all that p people pulling at you, you know, lying, mostly lying to you. And, you know, getting on the social media platform and, and attempting to be experts and, and telling you this and telling you that. But, but the, and they have no idea. They're show ponies. They're being used to distract distract you. And they used their so-called expertise. You know, I'm a scientist. I'm an engineer. Uh, you know, I know how social media works. You know, I'm the, you know. So you just have to allow people to be because they're not going to stop. You know, it's, uh, it's not going to stop. You just need to know how to manage yourself. You know, and protect yourself and love yourself and appreciate your opportunities to be able to do this. Because, like I said, no one has to know what you're doing, you know, because it's happening within you. You know, you can have your partner standing right next to you, and they don't know that you're doing that. But I would suggest you share with your partner, or your significant other, your wife, your husband. This is, I'm, I, when you see me acting a certain way, chances are I'm just working on my inside. And I'm working on my innermost being to understand what's really going on. So... You may see subtle changes in your in yourself, or they may see subtle changes, and just be kind and gentle with them, and, and ask them, you know, is there anything I can do to assist you, in, in in this journey that you're having? We all have our own journeys, but we can do we can still walk together, we can still be, you know, harmonious with each other, you know, in sync with each other, even though we are both heading in, on a destination, on a path you know, on a journey, okay, so I am going to keep repeating certain things because people need to hear certain things, you know, people need to know certain things, you know, you need to snap out of it and understand, whoa, what have, what have I have, what have I allowed to happen right in plain sight, you know, what am I doing to my consciousness and my development of my who I am as a genuine human being. What am I listening to? You know, who am I listening to? Those are a lot of questions to ask yourself. But you can do this all silently. You know, nobody has to know. Uh, but it's so important that you get a grip on your reality, because as I said about the dawning of the age of Aquarius, okay, that for some people can be a literal event, a metaphor. You know, and I say it's a combination of everything that I've been talking about over the course of these videos. You know, that's the preparation I am allowing people to uh, consider. You have free will to do whatever the hell you want. And I know a lot of people are into this swipe mentality. Everything is swiping. And that's fine. Expect that. I expect that. I expect people to follow me. I expect people to unfollow me. I expect people to like me. I expect people to not like me, unlike I expect all of that. I don't take it all personal. 
I know that it is a uh, process that not many of us are on. We're all on different consciousness levels. So a lot of people will not listen. A lot of people will not care. But I know a lot of people are attempting as well, you know, to put food on the table, you know, make ends meet. That's natural. Uh, but at the end of the day, make sure you can live with what you're doing. Make sure you can sleep at night and that you're comfortable with how you're behaving and acting. And, it, are, and are you taking responsibilities for the things you're doing? Okay, a lot of people are, are acting as though nobody can see them. You know, you're, all, you're always being watched. And now you're being watched by your own innermost being. You know, you can call it your psyche. You can call it your consciousness. You can call it anything you want. But you're always being watched and monitored from within. Okay, and that's who you need to be answering to. From within. So I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate your, your development of your personality. Well, understand you're nothing at the end. You're nothing. And that's the most important. Peace and love. And trust me, I'll be back.